Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, may I have your attention, please? Are you ready to engage in a mind-blowing experience and hear talks about life, technology, entertainment, and business? The next episode of Hip to Talks starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hi everyone, Zoltan here from Hip to Talks. We're back again this week. Today we are going back to our origins and that is the gaming industry. And I have the pleasure of having with me on this call, Cyril Casanova, CEO and co-founder of Honore Gaming. Cyril, am I pronouncing the, your name and company correctly? Perfectly. All right. So let's dive right into the question. So tell me about Honore Gaming and which markets are you guys core focus on? And maybe say a few words about yourself and your career. Sure. So uh, hello, everyone. So I'm Cyril Casanova. I'm 43 years old. So as you say, I'm, uh, I'm the founder. Uh, co-founder and CEO for Array Gaming. So we are a Parisian-based uh, B2B provider in the gaming industry, uh, which has a strong focus uh, in Africa and then uh, more generally in emerging markets. So we have notably a strong partnership with PMU France, uh, providing them uh, with all the technology for the African markets and notably the technologies that enables coming links. So the possibility for uh, a pointer in Dakar or in Madagascar or in Angola to place bet exactly in the same pool uh, than in Paris, in a Parisian shop, for example. So that's a very, very successful product. And, uh, and PMU, for example, uh, trusts a lot this product for, for the African development. We are also, on top of that, we are also market leader in French-speaking Africa, uh, providing many big names brands that are number one in their respective countries. So that is a, that is, is a case, for example, in Congo uh, with Congo Bed brand or in Chad, for example, with Paris et Cash. So that's exactly, we are also uh, present in the Portuguese, Spanish, and, uh, and English speaking countries also in Africa right. too. Say a few words about yourself as well. <laughs> sure, so I forgot <laughs> to introduce myself. So no I've, I've co-founded this company in 2013 uh, with my brother and, uh, and a friend. Uh, and uh, before that, uh, I have founded uh, three companies in the gaming industry uh, that, uh, that have uh, gone uh, bankrupt, basically. So that's the fourth one uh, has been the good one. <laughs> and ah, uh, sorry to, Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And before that, uh, I was working as, a, as an analyst in a, in a net fund and uh, my brother in a, in a bank. So basically, we, we were uh, financial guys uh, at that time. All right, all right. So yeah, it's it's... it's yeah. It's very interesting that you guys are working with PMU. That's such a large and honorable company. And the other thing that you mentioned is that you are from Paris. Here's some inside info. We, we just uh, received the first year statistics for our podcast. And the most uh, listened to podcast, like in terms that our podcast is listened to the most is in Paris. So that's very strange wow. for us to have the biggest audience in Paris. So, so sure. maybe they will they will approach you on the street now. <laughs> All right. So where do you guys currently uh, are live in Africa? And uh, which African markets have the greatest potential? And most importantly, why? Because this is a very important question. Sure. So we, we are live in 22 different African countries. So uh, mainly in French speaking ones, but uh, also uh, in English, Spanish and Portuguese. And uh, in our opinion, the most attractive countries are Ethiopia, Rwanda and Tanzania. And so okay. I will explain why in a few words, uh, according to us, uh, Ethiopia, despite 
the fact that this country has uh, to face many challenges. So, for example, the ability to send money out of the country. So, uh, for supplier like us, that's a big challenge because uh, it's very, very difficult to receive money from this country in Europe. But uh, you also have uh, a population of uh, uh, 100 million inhabitants with a very strong appetite for virtual and sports betting and uh, with a market that we consider as, uh, as very immature in comparison to uh, English countries uh, of, this, of Africa and, and even French speaking ones. So uh, I would say that uh, Ethiopia is, is, is very different from the other English speaking countries, I would say. Uh, we also consider for, for different reasons, Rwanda as, as uh, very different from uh, uh, from the remaining part of, uh, of Africa because it's a very modern country uh, with a very high penetration of uh, mobile money. So basically the online gaming industry could uh, experiment uh, a very, very large uh, growth in the coming years because the law uh, is about to change and to, uh, to regulate uh, the, betting, uh, the betting sector. So. Uh, we would be very, very pleased to, to serve one of the future uh, betting brands there. And Tanzania, because Tanzania is already a regulated market in, uh, in Africa, they have implemented some uh, sophisticated uh, software for uh, tracing uh, the betting activity of operators, and it has opened the the way for, for new investment and uh, this industry has, uh, has experienced a lot, very large uh, growth, but we still see a lot of potential and uh, we consider that this market will, uh, uh, will be very interesting for the coming years. All right. So in 2022, you guys launched, uh, introduced a, a loyalty scheme uh, specifically developed for the African markets. So could you tell us more about this loyalty scheme and, and maybe say also why you created it? Sure. So as a software provider, uh, we always ask ourselves the question, uh, should we develop internally or potentially work with uh, some existing products that we could integrate? Uh, and offer it as, a, as an add-on to, to our clients. So the question and the answer is uh, for the time being and from our experience still the same for the, for the markets recovering, uh, European or American products are not adapted. So uh, if, we want, if you want to succeed in Africa, you have to be simple, uh, you have to be very, easy to understand and easy to use uh, for, uh, for targeting a population uh, that has a large portion of uh, illiteracy. So uh, if you want to succeed there, uh, you have to create something very easy to understand. And so uh, as for CRM or for this loyalty program, we have decided to create it internally. So that's the reason why uh, we have uh, designed it in order to be for all products and very easy to understand. So the idea is to create a reward system as for, for our clients. So basically, uh, it allows players to earn reward points for every bet they are placing. So the higher the expected margin of the bet, the higher the number of reward points the player will receive. And uh, this can be uh, this can be uh, redeemed uh, as cash or free bets. And uh, in the three markets where we've introduced this uh, loyalty scheme, we've seen an increase of twenty four percent in the number mm -hmm. of bets uh, that have been placed per player per month. So uh, that has been a massive success there. Well, that's good, great to hear. And, and do you guys intend to use this scheme uh, next in other jurisdictions as well? 
Sure. Uh, we, we definitely intend to, uh, to implement it in all markets we're covering. So because this test has proved that it's, a, it's an add-on, it's a competitive advantage for, for our clients. Uh, for for gaining market share, so we will introduce uh, it in uh, during uh, during this year amongst uh, all our clients. All right. So basically, you are going to go outside these three markets, uh, and and then expand into other African markets as well. Yeah, because we we are we are present in twenty two different African countries. So this test has been made in in Congo in Chad okay. and in Senegal. And so we will, uh, we will push it in, uh, in the other ones. All right. So what were honorary gaming ski achievements last year? And what can we expect from you guys this year? So this year we have, uh, we have put a lot of energy and uh, we have developed uh, and improved, uh, redeveloped and improved our retail platform. Okay. Uh, we have also added many features uh, on our online platform too. Uh, many features for targeting some very specific markets, uh, as it is the case in uh, in Nigeria, where you have to have developed some uh, very specific features uh, that uh, that are very appreciated in uh, in Nigeria, for example. Uh, we uh, not not on the product, but uh, but more on the, on the company, we have successfully created and developed our subsidiary in Senegal that allows Honoré to, uh, to be very close to our clients now. So, and that's uh, uh, part of our DNA to listen to our clients and adapt to the, the product in Paris uh, thanks to those uh, local feedbacks. So... We are Parisian, but uh, we are African too. And now that's, that's not some words, that's the, that's the reality thanks to this uh, subsidiary. Right. And uh, so, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and for, for, for the coming year, uh, we, will, uh, we, will, uh, we will still develop the product, uh, investing a lot of money and, uh, and still recruiting a lot of people. And, uh, uh, and for some uh, partnership uh, we will announce uh, the reinforcement of our partnership with pmu launching a new product in uh, in africa and uh, and latin america soon oh. and from uh, still from a product point of view uh, we are about uh, to terminate our in-house crm uh, that um, that has been in-house developed and uh, that will fit our uh, our client needs so to be simple uh, more adapted and much much cheaper than uh, what you can find uh, in, usually in the industry all right so by the time the listeners are going to wrap up this uh, podcast uh, how you guys have a saying in french tout sweet that's that is that correct yeah exactly yeah so i mean that tout sweet the uh, in-person conferences are very much uh, ap approaching very fastly. So I would like to ask you what events can we see Honoré at this year? So Honoré is uh, will uh, will be present uh, at Ice Africa. So which is which Ice is yeah. at the end of the, at the end of the year. Uh, yeah, which uh, makes a lot of sense with for. Uh, everything we've said, and uh, and sooner uh, we uh, we will be also present in uh, in Casablanca uh, okay. in March, uh, where there is an event targeting the uh, francophone African countries for for betting. So that also makes uh, a lot of sense for us to be there. All right. So everyone, you heard it here first. You can. Uh search for Cyril Casanova on uh, LinkedIn and Honoré Gaming you can definitely find online. So Cyril as parting words would you like to say something to our audience? Yeah so uh, maybe I, I, uh, I've already said it during the, the interview but uh, um, 
if you want to launch an operation in Africa, or, uh, and uh, there are also many similarities with, uh, with Latin America, uh, you have to take into consideration that those markets are very specific. And if you want to succeed there, you have to consider that picking up the right platform is key. And uh, so to pick a platform that has understood the local challenges, uh, as it is the case, for example, for payment solutions. So the ability to connect with local payment solution in Africa, for example, is key, but yep. also the ability to create some very simple uh, applications, lightweight, because the cost of data is huge there in Africa and in many Latin America countries. So uh, that, uh, would I that's what I would recommend uh, for startups or, or even some uh, existing or big groups that, uh, that have, that have uh, uh, more and more uh, intense appetite for, for Africa. So the, I would say that our understanding of Africa will be, will be still the same. You have to consider local constraints. Okay. So... Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Cyril, for your time. Uh, very well. And make sure to subscribe to our uh, podcast to receive notifications for when we go live again. And thank you for joining us and have a good day. Thank you for joining. Be sure to check back next week for the next Hip to Talks and subscribe on Amazon Music, Overcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Mixcloud, and Pandora.